light beginning to fall over Southern California, but the lights are shining bright here at the spectacular SoFi Stadium in Metropolitan Los Angeles. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the Denver Broncos and the Los Angeles Chargers. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. Here's a six-year man, Austin Eckler. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Well, in every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. From the 29, Herbert. Finds the open man, it's Mike Williams. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. The Charger first there as Herbert finds Williams. Big play that time by Mike Williams, and it picks up a first down, and he's coming off a career best 76 catches at 1,146 yards last season, and was rewarded with a nice extension for his efforts. Definitely hope to continue his improvement in the sixth season as a Chargers big play threat. Running on first down, Eckler. And a lane slow and materializing there as he'll get maybe a yard up to the 45. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. Here's second and nine. Here's Herbert. It's complete to Williams. And this is going to be another first down as he'll make the tackle at the Broncos 40. The Chargers passing game rolling a bit here. They've got another first. And he's already got two catches on the opening drive. <laughs> they know he's going to be a handful. And sometimes you game plan for that offensively. You want to make sure that guy touches the ball. And sometimes it just happens naturally. And then you change your game plan. When he has the hot hand, you keep going back to him because he's running routes with confidence as the game goes on. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. They'll run for the first time with Joshua Kelly. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offense coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it. Thank you. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. They'll try to pick up the first with Eckler. And some strong running there as he's down just shy of the 20 on the edge of the red zone. It'll go as a gain of 11 and a Charger first. If you make the stop there, maybe you hold them to three on this opening drive. They didn't get the stop. Yeah, a new set of downs now. Now you're worried about, just as you pointed out, not just giving up three, possibly giving up six. Let's see what they decide to do here because they've got to change up what they have been doing. It hasn't been working. Meanwhile, Herbert's throw going into the hands of Williams. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical, they've been crisp, and as a reward, they're going to be set up with an early first and goal. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door, first and goal. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And a nice move will yield nothing as he's stopped behind the line. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Ah, uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. On second and goal, Herbert. And this is caught. He's got a touchdown LA. Josh Palmer from eight yards out. And the Chargers will claim the early lead as 
as they're on the board first here tonight. Right off the bat, they start with a very solid, methodical 10-play drive. And you know me, I tend to look at things from the defensive side. They're coming off the field gassed right away. They're the first drive of the game. So it's not just what happened, but think of the emotion you carry into a game. Then double up with getting a 10-play drive put on you and points scored. They're pretty tired right now. Touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. Montrell Washington on the return from his end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Denver's offense now set to go. First and 10 here for Wilson and the Broncos at their own 19-yard line. Now a carry for the floor. First round pick of the Chargers. It's Melvin Gordon. And he'll get this up over the 25 to the 26. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards. And it's second and two. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal... Get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. And this won't be enough to pick up the first, a gain of two, third and one. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Third and one, Wilson. This goes to the tight end, Eric Sauber. And he will have a Broncos first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. Well, they kept it simple there, CD, only needing the short gain to move the chain. So they didn't want to go with a deep throw. They just go with that safer, shorter throw and able to convert. Nothing wrong with that at all, partner. Check the box, right? Make sure you pick up the first down. Offense is getting established. You're moving the ball. You're not turning it over. Check, check, check. They like what they're doing early in the game. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. Again on second and ten, it's Wilson. Open man downfield is Judy. He's got it. And he gets us to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. 22 yards there, a first down. I know we just saw a nice throw and catch, but how about the big guys up front they buying that time. time? Yeah, that's exactly what they did. They created time and allowed the space to happen, and it turned into a really nice play. To throw again is Wilson. That's complete to the tight end, Sauber. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. Working with a second and four. On the counter, here's Gordon. And he gets it down to the 32. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. We know Melvin Gordon is very effective getting to the perimeter, but being a former University of Wisconsin Badger means you know how to run the ball inside and with power as well. I also like the fact that he's a weapon in the passing game. Had as many as 58 catches in a season. Throw it to him in space and look out. On first down, Wilson. 
He completes this to Sutton. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. Another completion right there. And again, Charles, good time in the pocket. That offensive line on this opening drive been really solid. They've been more than solid. They've really tamped down the pass rush and kept him safe in the pocket. Able to look around, find his target, and deliver. He's got to make sure he tells the offensive line in the huddle. Thanks, fellas. Let's keep it going. This is caught. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. Well, Brandon, obviously no panic in them. They gave up the touchdown. You know, their defensive side did that. But he's already taken them back downfield. I love this field general that they've got. It's almost like he went to the defensive captain and said, don't worry about it. We got you. Now we got first and goal. Yeah, we're seeing punch counter punch. And yeah, this is caught by Sutton. Touchdown, Broncos. Two yards on the touchdown there. And the Broncos respond to that opening drive touchdown with one of their own. But down here, I thought they were going to hand that off. Instead, a well-designed play and the pitch and catch for the touchdown. And I wonder who came up with it. Was it a call from the bench? Did the quarterback have a good idea and suggest it? In any event, clearly an effective play call. They saw something they liked in coverage, and they targeted it for the short yardage throw. And the perfect way to cap their opening drive. here as the kicks away. Fields it right around the goal line. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. The Chargers get set to go here for their second drive. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent offer a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth. If you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards. It moves the sticks. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass in the first drive. It comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. Really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drills when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought, yeah, he might be locked in for this one. I think defensively, you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs and you tend to stall them out when you do that. What a dynamic player Eckler has become since going undrafted out of Western State. He was top five in rushing touchdowns and all-purpose yards last season while nearly getting his first 1,000-yard campaign on the ground. Somehow, he has yet to appear in a Pro Bowl. That seems likely to change this season. And able to steer clear of that first tackler as he works his way forward for about four. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. A shotgun snap for Herbert. He'll get this out wide to Eckler. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. These two teams all tied after one. Charger football to start quarter number two. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Here's Herbert. 
And this is caught. First catch for Keenan Allen. And this is going to be another first down as they'll make the tackle at the Broncos' 35. Give them 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. So he turned to a trusted, familiar face in that third down situation. It paid off. Yeah, you go to your veteran receiver in that spot. So you can't underestimate him when he's on the field defensively. Make sure you know where he is because he understands how to get open in key situations. And Herbert able to get this one to Eckler out of the backfield. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. It looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? Eckler now between the tackles. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun, and they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Coming up on a second and six. Once more, here's Eckler. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Seven yards on the pick up there, and now they've got it first and goal. It's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy, let him pick up the first down. Play action this time for Justin Herbert. He's going to get this one out to his fullback. And it looks like he'll be just a yard shy of the five here as he's out at the six. Nice job defensively to hold him to four, and now it's second and goal. And the big guy catches the ball in the backfield, and oftentimes that's quite a surprise to the guys playing defense because not ordinarily thought as a pass catcher, it often works when they decide to dial it up. Now Herbert gives this one to Kelly, and he's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the one. Give him right around four on the carry. We'll see if they want to keep pounding here on third and goal. Eckler diving for the end zone, and he'll get there. Touchdown. But he decided to run it in and got it done on third and goal. A lot of times, that's a passing play. And the kicker just has to come out for the PAT. He can breathe a sigh of relief as well, right? Although I don't know if he's really breathing a sigh of relief. I think he likes to put three points on his ledger. Extra point good by Hopkins. And that makes the score 14 to 7. Touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. So now the second drive offensively coming up for the Denver Broncos. So remember, Charles, last time they were out here, they scored, but they just saw the opposition score, and they're trailing right now, so they're trying to keep pace here. They need a touchdown drive. Well, if you're a fan of offense, you're loving this, but if you're a fan of defense, this is tough to watch. It's also tough to keep that up when you just watch your opponent march down the field on a scoring drive, the last into double-digit snaps. You need a score here, not just to follow the momentum from your last drive, but put the onus back on your opponent. And that's what they're doing right now, swapping that onus back and forth. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. Here's a give up the middle. It's Gordon. 
And this one will go to the 28-yard line. And they get 16 out of that one, but they'll still need to convert on third. So from second and long, now we go to third and very manageable. Yeah, they love that phrase, don't they? Because as an offensive coordinator, you can keep people a little bit off balance in guessing because you don't have to throw it. You can come back with a strong run game if you want to. And if you're in four-down territory, that really opens things up for you. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. That one going for a gain of 11 and a Bronco first down. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. Now Gordon on first down. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Second and six. This is Gordon as they go to him again. Just a couple on the pick up there, and now it's third down. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense, and guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. Wilson. That's out to the flat. And now the ball's out. Fumble near midfield. And picked up by the Chargers. Up the middle with Eckler. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. With well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to hell and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. From the 41, Herbert. And the Broncos get there and take him down. Josie Jewell, the linebacker, getting the sack. He only gave them an instant to react. It was a classic case of if you blink, you missed him. Off of the line and to the quarterback in just a couple of seconds. Running back only had a moment to react and attempt to throw a block. The Chargers on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This is third and 11. This is swung out to Eckler. And he's going to come up a few yards short of the first. They get him to the ground at the 37. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that'll bring up fourth down. Well, it looks like they got what they wanted. They got the completion, but they weren't able to break any tackles or gain nearly enough yardage to pick up the first down. Now to be fourth and short. And this one will not get there. It's off to the left anyway. It's no good, and this will remain a one-touchdown game. Now listen, now, no kick from 50-plus is a gimme, but here you're indoors in a dome. You'd think ideal conditions. Yeah, and it's one that he would expect himself to make, not just us expecting him to make it. Over the years, my theory is very simple. The athletic ability of kickers continues to get better and better. Check their background. They were all county, all state, and other positions, not just soccer players. These guys expect themselves to be great as well. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Yeah, another negative play in an early down situation. This one to start the drive. You're putting a lot of pressure on your quarterback to bail you out when you're in second and long yardage. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. A quick throw there going to be batted away and incomplete. Uh, the quarterback got away with the one there. Looked like he was in line for a pick, but instead it's knocked harmlessly into the turf. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now Wilson. He throws there incomplete. 
This defense has certainly played well so far in this game, and the coverage has been tight on just about every throw. Forced a few here so far in this game, and now it brings up fourth down. Fourth down, Corliss Waitman now on to punt. DeAndre Carter back deep. Fair catch called for and made at the 16 or maybe the 17 yard line. 35 yards that time on the punt. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. Herbert going to lead up the Chargers here first and 10 at their own 18. They'll try and start this drive in the air. That's caught by his tight end, Gerald Everett. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that will bring up second down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Second down at four. Herbert now. He'll drop this one off to Eckler. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. A six-yard pass on back-to-back -back plays. Picks up the first. But they certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half. They must have seen something in the scouting that said, hey, we can capitalize on him getting the ball possibly in the open field. And I think in the second half, that may loosen up the defense a little bit to get the running game going back inside. Setting up to throw on first down. Flush to his right. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. It'll only be a loss of a couple, but the pressure gets home on first down. Well, he was really focused downfield, but there was really no viable options. The coverage was too good. And the defense really quickened the tempo of that play with their pass rush because there was nowhere for him to go with the football. The only place he ended up, down on the ground. Herbert's throw taken in by Palmer. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. First down, Los Angeles there with a pickup of 14 yards. That looked like a pretty good route combination there because you've got to find a way to clear the guy running the drag. Because when you do, you just put the ball on him and then let him run. Yeah, he's got some space. Now the Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as he'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. So two first downs, and that moves the ball to the 42 now, first and 10. Now it's Herbert. That's again complete to Palmer. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. In need of only about the length of the football here on second down. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. Well, the great coach has said football is really a simple game. Rush theirs, protect yours. And he's talking about those guys throwing the football. In this situation, the rush won, hitting the quarterback and forcing him into an incompletion. Play number seven coming on this drive. It's third and inches. Herbert back to the air. And that's into the hands of Eckler. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Got what they needed there. The drive continues with a nine-yard pickup. I'm not sure that that was necessarily a safety valve or a check down throw on third down. Sometimes just try and find the open guy and get him the ball. He did exactly that and found a way to pick up a first down. On first and 10, Herbert. 
He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Pat Sertan. And the Broncos force the turnover. They'll take over at their own 27. They'll start on the ground. This is Gordon on first down. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. Now the Broncos are going to call the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. He released that awkwardly. It almost looked like a pitcher who gripped his fastball a little too hard and let it go late and it bounced in front of the plate. Yeah, one well, of those fastballs that ends up at 57 feet, not 60 feet, 6 inches. Just a little short with the arm, which is unusual because we saw him in warm-ups. He's got a big, strong arm, and he delivers it with confidence. Third and two. Now Wilson sets up the screen to Gordon. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Here's Corliss Waitman now. And he'll get credit for putting him inside the 20 as the fair catch is made right at about the 19-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And they will take over first and 10. A little over 20 seconds remaining in the half as they'll line up here first and 10. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. He's got his man. That's Everett, the tight end. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. It's a good pick up there, a 22. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman and our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Here comes the Broncos offensive unit here as they'll have it first to begin this third quarter. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. On second down, they'll run with Gordon. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. They go back to Gordon here on first down. And he'll grab a gain of five out of this up to the 41-yard line. Consecutive positive runs for him on the last two snaps. He certainly appears to be trying to put the offense on his back and just move them down the field when his number is called. The way he's running it, I keep going back to him. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. They keep it on the ground again, Gordon. And not much there at all. Maybe a yard up to the 43. The Chargers trot out their dime package, expecting a throw on third down. Wilson. 
Got a man complete. It's Hamler. And he will have the Broncos first down by about three yards or so as they wind up getting seven there on third and four. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. The handoff goes to Gordon, running left. And he tried to bounce it outside, but they'll stop him behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. On right, second down, Gordon once more. And just one yard here from the 49 to the 50. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. Third down now. Those last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them. Just nowhere to go on the ground and struggling to put up points. Looking left side, and it's complete. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. Now it's Wilson. That's complete to the tight end, Sauber. And he'll be brought down at about the 23-yard line. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. Back to the ground now with Gordon. And he'll run straight into a wall of tacklers at the line of scrimmage. It's second down. He's already fumbled once in this game, and I thought the ball started to jostle there a little bit, but they got to him quickly at the line of scrimmage. They sure did, and remember, if you're not a very confident runner and you've already dropped it once, if there's traffic around you, the only thing you think about is protecting the football, not gaining yards. On right, second down, Gordon wants more. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. Defensively, we always know that he is tough and run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carry. On third down, Wilson. Four step. Wilson hit. It's loose. It's out. Fumble. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37 yard line. Here's Eckler to begin the drive. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. Nice chunk of yards on first down. It really opens up your options for what you want to do on second. You go right back to him and hope he explodes or sucker the defense in before throwing over the top. Now a second down and six. Here's Herbert. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and it's going to be a first down. Well done. A good pick up there of 20 yards. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right, whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case, the feet, doing a little toe tap to stay in bounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. On the stop that time, it was Josie Jewell. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. Looking to throw on second down. Herbert will find Williams on the slam. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. That was a nicely run slam route. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield. 
for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. On third down, here's Eckler. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. On first down, it's Herbert. It's complete to Williams. And they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. They'll try the right side with Eckler. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. The short field shrinks even more with the type of bodies they brought in on that play. Those extra tight ends, they weren't able to secure their blocks, and that one ended up going backwards. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. They run up the gut with Kelly. And again, the run defense stout this time. He maybe gets back to the line of scrimmage, but no more. No gain that time, and it leaves him with third and 11 coming up. 9th play of the drive coming up, and certainly not an easy one on third and long. Back to throw here, Herbert. Throw right side is into the hands of his tight end, Everett. And the Chargers are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. And in a lot of ways, that catch is expected. Red zone presence, and that one was realized there. You've got to find your tight end in that situation. A play fake, and now Herbert to throw. And they're going to get to him, a sack. Sack back at the nine-yard line. Not the first and goal play they drew up. Multiple defenders in to bring him down to the ground. Well, if you're going to throw the ball on first and goal from the two, the worst thing that should result is an incompletion for you offensively. But, Brandon, this is a different type of football. Back in my day, first and goal from the two, a lot of big people with big neck rolls, they were on the field trying to ram it into the end zone. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Only three yards there on the completion. That'll lead to a third and goal. I wonder what was going through his mind when he got the play call. He just got sacked on the previous play. He knows they're coming after him again. A little bit of guts to stand in there, take the hit, and successfully complete the screen pass. Really well done. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. Well, it's been a tough go for them. These guys have been driving down the field, but defensively, once they got their backs to the goal line, turned up the pressure, that's going to lead to a fourth down. Well played. Herbert jogs off, and out comes Dustin Hopkins to take this kick for L.A. on fourth down. Hopkins' kick is good, and they will move up by 10 now, 17-7. to seven. Some complimentary football there. One side, your defense forces the fumble, and then they drive it down the field. Now, obviously, Charles, they wanted the touchdown, but at least they were able to drive it down and get free out of that. Yeah, now we'll have to see how the other sideline responds because they had plenty of time during that field goal to think about that fumble and how they were going to react. What are they going to do when they get the ball back and try and make things a little bit better for their team? Taken in at the three. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. And the football going back over to the Denver Broncos. 
Well, right now, they're in a bit of a tough spot here, CD. You trail them by double digits. Remember the last time out, they fumbled. They're going to have to play some clean football here on this possession. And all the talk on their sideline has been about taking care of the football, making sure that they're handling the ball correctly. So you know they'll be squeezing the rock pretty tight here. They just have to be careful not to go so hard in doing that that they actually cause themselves other problems. Take care of the ball, but still try and play free and natural. the NFL on EA Sports. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now Wilson. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. Three yards remain for second down. From the gun, it's Wilson. He'll get this to Hamler over the middle. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers' 44-yard line. That'll be a pickup of 10 as they try to recover from this 10-point deficit. This defense has certainly had an outstanding second half, haven't they? I know they just gave up a first down there and for the offense. They're hoping that that's something that they can jumpstart with and maybe start to move the ball a little bit better. But it's been tough sledding for them here the entire second half. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And they'll work this down inside the 30. Well, every drive from here out is definitely crucial and critical. They know that they need to get at least three here to get it back to a one-score game. But I can't imagine that in their huddle, that they're thinking at all about getting a field goal. They want to get into the end zone and then try and get the ball back again. The busy night continues for Gordon as he gets it here. Might have gotten this one down to the 28, and that's all. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Throwing is Wilson. Finding Sutton on the out route who makes the catch. And out of bounds right around the 20. It appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works a defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. On third and one, Wilson. This is Hamler on the receiving end. And the Broncos are going to have a first and goal coming up as they find a way to convert there on third and one. All right, let's just go ahead and walk through this one pretty easily, right? Blast off the line of scrimmage, get downfield to a certain point, usually around eight to ten yards, turn around and make sure the quarterback sees your numbers and set yourself up for the pass. A well-executed curl route by Charles Davis. First and goal, Melvin Gordon. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the one. 65 yards on the ground for him so far. It's larger than the air attack that's gotten him down here, but now is where you start to lean on that running game. That's a good pickup there on first and goal. Second and goal from the one. Again, Gordon. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Denver. Melvin Gordon punching it in from a yard away. And the Broncos have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Well, time to let those folks know who are tuning in looking for the late local news. We may be a moment because we've got a game again. And partner, except for those on the West Coast, where it'll be seen in its regular time, right? That's the way it works, doesn't it? But how about that big-time drive right there? If they're going to have any chance, they needed a touchdown there, and they went right down the field and worked their way into the end zone. The 
Let's go, man. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. They gotta walk that walk, baby. Let's get some love. That's what it is. That's what it is, baby. Keep our boys. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. From his end zone, here comes Carter. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. And the L.A. offense ready for this next possession. That last touchdown has made this really tight. They're clinging now to this slim lead, but the, geez, the second half, they only have a field goal. This offense needs to kick it into gear. And right now, I'm looking directly at the field general, at the quarterback, because to me, he's got to take over right now by word, pumping his team up, and then, of course, by deed with his play. My school coach used to say that all the time. Laddy, take over by word and deed. And deed means action. Exactly. Well, how about this aggressive approach? Got the lead, fourth quarter, continuing to throw the football. Are you thinking about Super Bowl 51? Atlanta had the lead against New England, and they ended up giving it up. I was going to say, don't say it, but you did say it. I did, didn't I? Yeah, anybody watching Atlanta, our apologies. Running on first down, Eckler. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. Bradley Chubb came in and got him. This defense starting to buckle down when they need to. And right now, they're winning this fourth quarter, losing the game, but they're winning in the fourth quarter. And what a fine line it is about what they're trying to get done because they're down, so they obviously need the football, need a score. But they can't be so aggressive as to give up their edge, their gaps, and have the offense hit them with a big play. Williams brings it in. And this is going to be another first down as he'll make the tackle at the Broncos 45 yard line. With that catch, he goes over 100 yards receiving on the night. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. Finding Williams once more, complete. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. And now following the completion, we're going to get a stoppage here for an injury. More from L.A. in a moment. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. From the 25 on second down, Herbert. And that one complete to his receiver, Palmer. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Mark that as a gain of 16 to set him up first and goal. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. And that's complete to the right side of Taylor. And just shy of the goal line as he's out of bounds right at the one. Nice gain of eight that time, and it's second and goal. Kelly will score. Touchdown, Chargers. CD, three tight ends on the field, all that extra bulk, and they run it in. And you saw where that one went, right? You run it over your best block. I can just see the head coach right now. I want to run this one over the big boy. And they got it done. Hopkins with the extra point, and his guys will take a 10-point lead.
touchdown. Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. This will be fielded inside the five. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. And Denver getting set to take the field. And you figure after giving up that last touchdown, you know, they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter. This drive becomes very critical. So first and 10 here for Wilson and the Broncos at their own 22. Wilson. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave them with a second and just a few inches left. A good start there on this fourth quarter drive. They need more of what we just saw. Down a couple of scores. There's still time. All right, it's not like you know, they're totally out of it, but they have to score quickly, and they're going to need some big-time plays, chunk plays, explosive plays. They need yardage on each snap. On the delayed handoff, this is Gordon. And he's going to have a Broncos first down as the tackle made just shy of the 40. Now, yes, a two-possession game, but a good chunk of time on the clock, so they have the ability still there to run it on second and short, but maybe they need to pick it up a bit. You're right. They did pick up the first down there, but they, as you mentioned, they have to pick up the pace now because it's a two-possession game. They've got to get there twice to make sure they have a chance to win. Now a 20th carry, number 20 here for Melvin Gordon. And he finds a little bit of room, enough for four yards. It'll be second down. Well, you don't turn your nose up at a gain of four, do you? They'll take that on first down. Playbook's got to be pretty well open on second and six. Second down at six now from the 42. Now Wilson. Sutton running it in on the left side. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. His fifth catch tonight, and it's good for a first down. Clock management definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores, want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. So they go from one 42-yard line to the other as they come up now first and 10. Now it's Wilson. Open man, and again it's Sutton. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Here's a give up the middle. It's Gordon. And they're knocking on the door now. Has a good run there. Going to take this to about the 10-yard line. 87 yards on the ground for him now as he's gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. That was good, tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. And it's caught. Nice gain of eight that time, and it's second and goal. Second down and goal, Wilson. This is Gordon on the dump off. So back-to-back -back plays, each get nothing. And now we have here a third and goal. And they couldn't get anything going there out on the right side in the flat of the swing pass. And didn't we have a discussion with their staff about wanting to get the backs more involved in the Big passing emphasis. game? Huge emphasis for this game, but obviously the defense had other plans and really made a nice play. Now Wilson. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. Well, this defense has been physical all game long, and it certainly looks like they're not going to back off and make things any easier. They want to keep making life miserable for the receivers all the way to the end. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming from the right hash and a bit of a tight angle. 
The kick by McManus is good. And this is back down to a seven-point game. So you knew one way or another that they needed the two scores. They get the easy one out of the way. Now they'll get the ball back, hopefully. Yeah, and the question is, how do you accomplish that? Do you onside kick it? Or since you have all three timeouts, do you kick it deep? To me, I'm playing field position. With all three timeouts, I kick it deep and try and pin them back there. A little less than 90 seconds to go. This will be an onside kick. And this will not work out. The Chargers able to recover. A tough one there. They certainly wanted that when they needed it, but they didn't absolutely have to get it. They still do have three timeouts. You're exactly right. They had to attempt it. But even though they didn't get it, as you noted, with three timeouts, if they can get these stops on defense, all hope is not lost. Up the middle with Eckler. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. And no more. Now the Broncos are going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. The offense for Los Angeles returns to the field. Well, this offense, Charles, remember the last time they were out here, marched it nearly the full length of the football field, and a lot of the attack went through the air. So now they're seeing if they can duplicate that performance. Okay, if I show my age a little bit, partner, because I can hear my high school coach, John Ford. I can hear his voice in my head. Laddie, when you put the ball in the air, three things can happen, and two of them are bad. For the way the game's being played now, this is just part of what they do, so I don't think they should change anything at all. They've been dominant. Keep throwing it around. The Broncos going dime. Two extra defensive backs for third down. Playing pass all the way. Herbert. And Allen's got it. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. Now the Broncos will use their third and final timeout. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Victory formation, time for the Chargers. They take a knee. Herbert to a knee, and that should just about write it into this one.